For the 14th problem on this first ACT practice test, Antoine drew the circle graph below describing his time spent at school in one day. His teacher said that the number of hours listed were correct, but that the central angle measures for the sectors were not correct. What should be the central angle measure for the core subject sector? So this sector here is the core subjects. And when they're referencing central angle measure, that's talking about the angle that your slice of pie essentially makes with the center. So for our choir of one hour, our central angle measure would be this angle here. So for our core subjects, it would be this angle here, though we know the angle is wrong and we have to figure out what the correct one is. So the key to understanding this problem is recognizing that the total central angle measure for everything, like if you go around in an entire circle, the total central angle is 360 degrees. So we just have to figure out what portion of this 360 degrees the core subjects take up. So to do that, we know that the core subjects occupy four hours. But to figure out what percent of the total day that takes up, we have to know how many hours were spent in total. So we have four from the core subjects, three from electives, one from lunch and passing time, and one from choir. So we have one plus one is two, plus three is five, plus four is nine. So there are nine total hours of the day, and the core subjects take up four of those. So the core subjects take up four ninths of the day. And they would also take up four ninths of this central angle measure. So we just have to figure out what four ninths of 360 degrees is. So to do that, we just have to multiply them. So four ninths times 360 degrees. And you can put this into your calculator to find that the central angle measure is going to be 160 degrees. And this choice, this answer is letter H.